And the UNM Lobos come home far earlier than anyone expected, leaving fans still in shock. Good afternoon. Upset is the word of the day. What other way to describe the UNM Lobos' shocking loss to Harvard yesterday in the first round of the NCAA tournament? The national media is calling it the biggest upset so far. Lobo fans call it just plain depressing. News 13's Lizzie Mitri joins us with more. Kim, we all had high hopes for the Lobos, but now Lobo fans are heartbroken with busted brackets, too. It's just upsetting, definitely. It was like a dagger in the heart. <laughs> they just couldn't, couldn't pull it out. They're talking about March Madness. Emphasis on the madness for Lobo fans still reeling from last night's shocking loss to Harvard. Fans went from happily sporting their cherry and silver to just feeling blue. A lot of people had tests and homework today that they didn't do. And uh, I mean, just the loss on top of that just makes it all just, I guess, a bad mood for the day. <laughs> Seated at number three in the tournament's West region, UNM was expected to dominate over 14 seed Harvard. The Crimson had never won an NCAA tournament game until last night, winning 68 to 62. Ah, it was stressful. The whole game is going back and forth, and it's just, it was intense the whole way through. The first big upset in March Madness came last night from TV to newspapers from here to Miami. The headlines won't seem to let Lobo fans forget it. I don't even think anyone was expecting to lose and I think it's they're more shocked right now. Shocked or suffering from post game depression like UNM student union building tweeted today. Despite the disappointment fans say they still love their Lobos. Team members arrived in Albuquerque this morning looking just as upset as everyone else. Even so we found one woman who still wanted to show her support. She showed up at the Sunport hoping to greet the team returning from Salt Lake City. And they're the heart of our town, you know, the Lobo basketball team. It's what, what we have and what we, what we love. Unfortunately, she just barely missed the Lobos when the team flew in this morning. We did see a few fans arriving at the Sunport from Salt Lake City today, but they were too upset to talk to us on camera. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Lizay. Now, last year was Harvard's first NCAA appearance since 1946. They lost to Vanderbilt.